Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. Today we're back with an exciting video because we've added premium courses to the FSX 2020 golf simulation software. We're hooked up to the Foresight Sports GC Quad Golf Launch Monitor and I'm going to demonstrate Pebble Beach Golf Links. All right, one of the most famous golf courses in the world and one that I've actually been fortunate enough to play around a golf at makes it really special to see what it feels like in the simulation software. I picked out two of the most iconic holes that everybody knows. Number seven, which is the par three that goes down towards the ocean. Number 18, the challenging par five that's right along the beach with the cliff and a tree placed right in the middle of the fairway. Uh, you'll be able to see if I can manage to somehow pull off a par. Very, very difficult hole in my eyes. All right, so I'm also gonna show you guys some features inside of the FSX 2020 software that I think are very valuable. Not not only for maybe just the individual, but also a swing coach that could be using this inside of a studio for instruction. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's shrink down our swing video and get it out of the way. And if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, I always ask, please do. I appreciate it. And obviously there's a lot more content coming. Let's go into the play section. Let's select new game. Let's select Pebble Beach. There's a little preview of number 18 behind the green looking towards the T. Very cool. We can deselect all of the holes by tapping the button on top. I'm going to select number seven, the three, and then number 18, the par five. We'll go ahead and select next. This is very cool. So I already have this selected, but I'll deselect it for a second. FSX 2020 has the ability to pull in real-time weather. So even though we're here in Michigan, I can select real-time weather and play the actual weather all right, that is going on out at Pebble Beach Golf Links in California. Very cool. You can still adjust the time of day. You can, of course, adjust the green speed and bounce. Um, we'll go ahead and click next. I'll play the rules like I played last time. I'll put everything outside six feet. Let's hope I can get, get inside of there, but I, I'm pretty sure I'll be putting today. Um, I'm going to leave practice mode enabled, which is one of the features I'm going to show you guys, which I think is just fantastic, especially on a hole like number seven. All right, so let's go ahead and click next. It's going to take you to the player list. You could add your players that are playing with you that day. You could log into your FSX Live account, okay, which pushes all of your data to the cloud. I'll probably do a separate video on that to show you guys. It's very cool. But let's just use default player one from the blue tees and then hit start. All right, here we are out at number seven. All right, 102 yards, 11 yards downhill, seven mile per hour wind. All right, now this is where it gets really cool. One, you can hear the ocean, you can see the waves crashing, uh, very cool. Obviously you have the grasses on the hill, you can see those moving with a little bit of wind. Um, but if you guys saw the picture I uploaded on the social media accounts, the background was crystal clear. Now, California is known to have marine layer fog. It actually is foggy out at Pebble Beach right now. So it uh, gives you an accurate you know, representation of what the hole would play like right now. I just think that's so cool. Um, so we can do a flyover really quick to show you guys. Just hit your little airplane in the top. Obviously a very short hole, but you know you can actually see what that looks like. And then I'm going to enter practice mode. So I'm going to hit the plus sign where there's a little drop down and see where it says practice. We'll go ahead and click practice. It brings up data over on the left hand side. Now if I were to take my swing camera down just for a second, you'll see an X and an arrow. The arrow allows you to push that off to the side if you don't want it up, okay, and hide that data, all right? And then the X takes you out of the practice mode, all right? So that's how that functions. We'll go ahead and throw the swing camera back up, and let's go ahead and hit a few balls. So I'm gonna hit a few shots on purpose to show you guys what all is available while you're in practice mode. So if you were someone like a swing coach, you had someone in the studio and you're trying to have fun with some practice while working on things, what a better way to practice some short game than to be playing on number seven at Pebble Beach. All right, and I'm gonna show you how all the data is available, you know, to do so rather than just hitting balls out on the range. So 102 yards, a little bit of a wind. I can play a soft pitching wedge and it usually plays quite well. Oh, should this not be on practice mode? Get out of here. It just hit the pin. Pick it up. It just hit the pin. I don't know if I've had a shot that good ever on this hole. It had a chance of going in. You have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Well, we have it on, on camera. So, uh, unbelievable. I mean, not even warmed up today. Um, I, I can't believe that just happened. 
All right, let's hit another one. I want to hit a few. That won't happen again. Let's hope it does, but. Another decent shot. Oh man, I'm sticking them today. It must be my little pitching wedge idea. So let me show you guys why the dad. I'll hit one more because I think it creates a cluster at three. I'm gonna show you guys how this works. Yeah, that one's, that one's left. That one's left in the bunker. That'd be perfect demonstration to show you guys chipping though. All right, I can't believe I hit that pin. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to these three trajectory lines at the top, right under the Foresight Sports logo, all right? Even though we're out at Pebble Beach, number seven, playing, check out what you have available inside the FSX 2020 software. So I actually have my Logitech Brio connected today. So this is just a $199 USB camera that gives me general feedback, okay, of my swing. Very cool, it has drawing available. So if you were looking at angles of any sort, uh, if you were an instructor and you were drawing lines, if you were trying to draw circles over top of heads, whatever you're trying to do, all of that's available. Very easy to use, especially if you have a touch screen like I do, um, I think it's amazing. Um, you can obviously, you know, go in slow motion, you can stop, you know, and look at things. If you have a higher end camera, you're obviously not gonna have blur like that. But, you know, if you want a cheap solution, you know, low cost solution, look what I'm using. It gives you all of your ball data, of course, like speed, launch angle, spin, carry, all that. You can go into your ball tab. Look at that. 2D side view of your apexes. And then look at that one ball right down the middle. Man, I hope I can hit another one of those when I exit practice mode. And then a table view. Okay, now if I had club data on, now I just played a tournament this weekend. I don't have fiducials on my club, so I don't have club uh, head data turned on. But I also do that to really demonstrate you guys uh, I'm gonna exit practice mode by hitting the X. Um, that you don't, if you're looking for, you know, the best cost solution to get yourself a GC quad, you don't need the club head data add-on. You can add it later, all right? You could add the putting analysis later and you can still play simulation golf without that because it's using all four cameras to read the ball data, all right? So I think that really shows that if you are an instructor or an individual, either or, you can be out here on your most favorite holes practicing, all right? And have all of your data available like that. I think it's great. I think it's a it's a huge value. Now here's the question: Can I actually hit another shot like the one that I hit and get it close to the pin? I can't believe that hit the pin. We'll be able to see right now. Here we go. The one that counts. I think that's going to be short. Well, I'm on the green, guys. Unfortunately, the one that counts wasn't right next to the pin, but for demonstration purposes, <laughs> for demonstration purposes, it's, uh, it's perfect because I get to show you guys putting. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to turn the grid on right left of the camera. You'll see the little, uh, almost looks like a diamond, all right, with the grid, and it will show you how the green undulation is and how that break is. That's a pretty heavy right to left putt. All right, so I'm going to need, I like how the flag is actually blowing the direction of the wind. Um, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I, I don't think I've noticed that before. Um, someone might've commented it, and now I've been kind of paying attention uh, to everything more. I, I read comments that people notice. Um, I mean, I just think that's really cool. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Man, that's a heavy break. It's 18 feet, five inches. Let's see. I'm gonna aim right there. 18 feet, five inches, it's flat. Let's see what we can do. It's, it's just over 10 feet to my screen, just so you guys understand. And of course, putting, make sure I'm in my putting range there. It's a little further back, all right, of the hitting area is where your putting zone is. Uh, in ball data only, 18 inches long, 14 inches wide is your hitting zone. Let's see what we can do here. I got it there. I got it there. Pick it up. Just a little, a little too hard. I think it would have broke a little more and I would have had a chance. But I walk away with my par. I'm even. And now I'm on my next favorite hole. And something I'm going to point out while we're sitting on the tee box. 
something they did with FSX 2020 that I appreciate because I've been at this golf course is they have taken the time to place every item uniquely and to represent what it looks like at the actual course. So the houses look like the houses that are there. The clubhouse looks like the clubhouse. The trees are the right height and the right shape. Um, I've noticed that as I've messed around with this. And that's something that I appreciate because uh, you know if you've been to these courses or you haven't been to the courses and you want them to represent what they are, um, I think that those type of things are, are really important and they've done a good job of that. So this is a challenging hole, guys. So it has me aimed just left of the tree, which is really where you wanna be. 266, all right, a carry, which if I get a hold of it, I can carry it that far. That's really where you want to be. And then you have a long layup, all right? I'd love to say I could hit it over that tree. Not me. Not going to happen, all right? I know if you watch, uh, you know, on TV, the guys are crushing it from the tips, and they're getting it past that tree. Some of the short hitters were ending up in that bunker to the right. Um, you know, I was able to go out to the U.S. Open and watch the pros play this course. It was incredible. I mean, it was just incredible, the things that they try to do out on these courses. All right. I have not swung a driver. Let's hope I can just keep this thing reasonably in the fairway. It's a par five. I'll tell you what, if it's short of that tree, that's not a great drive for me. I only carried a 240 or so. Oh my gosh. Couldn't have asked for a better drive. On this nice hole, drive. must be my day today. I mean, I hit the pin on number seven. My drives in the fairway, that wasn't a fantastic shot by any means, um, but perfect for me. And now let's see what we have for like a safe layup position. So I'm not going to go for it. That's way too far. I don't care if I hit my three wood. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to aim over here, which it looks like if I hit a, a decent five iron, all right, I could lay up, not be in the way of that tree. All right, that's 2-0, 198. So right about there, okay, that tall tree, if you're there behind it, uh, looking up in, in real life, you really have respect for, uh, you know, how tall it is and how it can really, really get in the way. Um, let's see what we can do here. That was a five iron. Now, is it going to get there? Okay, that's where I wanted to be. But man, was that close. Wow. Wow, that was really close. All right. So let's see now. How far out are we? Uh, 60 yards. Okay. I mean, this is a par five. So playing it safe here. I like this. Now, notice how the grid's still on because it shows you how that green's running. So 60 yards, it's running down to the left, four feet uphill. I have a 58 degree wedge. Let's see what I can do. I hit that towards the toe. Tell you what, not bad. I'm going to leave myself Green. a downhill putt. Look at this view on number 18. Unbelievable. I mean, just unbelievable. This is one of my favorite holes. I mean, I love number seven, but number 18 along the water. I mean, it's just beautiful. Oh, wow, guys. What did I leave myself here? It's breaking extremely left to right. 15 feet downhill, seven inches. And I've mentioned this before. When... You have a downhill putt, all right, you take off every inch, you take off about a foot. So I really only need to hit this, all right, about nine feet or so, and it's going to break hard. Let's see what I can do. I'd love to make par here. I mean, par on both these holes for me is great. I'm going to aim just a little left inside the studio. I feel like I might not have aimed quite far enough left. 15 feet, six inches. I'm only going about nine. 10 feet to my screen. Break. Go. Break. I'll tell you what, guys. Pick it up. 
that is a, a tough <laughs> hole for me. The fact that I got out of there like that um, with number seven and number 18, um, I, I'm really happy. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm really happy. Challenging golf course. Um, so much fun to play. Um, but the features inside of FSX 2020, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll bring my uh, swing camera up a little bit again. All right, there we go. Uh, just so I can talk about a few things uh, that we, we saw today. So FSX 2020, built-in features for on-course play. Um, like I said, whether you're an instructor or an individual, the fact that you can go out in the course and you can enter practice mode and see every single bit of data from you know swing to ball data to club data to tables and 2D you know depiction charts and deviation, all of that. I think that's really really important to understand that that's available. All right, but not only that, but the accuracy of the play of this course that I've played before, Pebble Beach Golf Links Premium Course on FSX 2020. I can tell you that it plays very true. I've been there in real life and it plays very true. Um, you know, I'm uh, very, very happy with what they've done, uh, you know, with not only the accurate weather, you know, the local weather and the way the wind affects the ball, but like I said, the way that they place the items, I think that's fantastic. Um, you know, I'm going to demonstrate much more of this because as always, I like to give you guys, you know, my understanding of it but I always want to demonstrate everything so you can get your own opinion and I'll do some live streams and I'll try to play all 18 holes for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Um, but there's a lot more coming. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys watching as always stay tuned and we'll talk to you soon.